All right, in this video, I'm going to go over the Solar Eclipse Freight Estimation Tool. So to get started, we're going to go into a new order here. And I'm just going to pull up. If I can type. Correct. And I'm just going to add a product to the sales order quick. I'm going to put five CHF 120s. And choose that. Now, we want to make sure that this product that we just added actually has a weight associated with that. So to do that, I'm going to go over here and change my view by clicking on a little magnifying glass right up here above the button where you scroll up and down. And down towards the bottom, I got a view that says weights. So that's what I'm looking for right there. If I click that, you can see that it's got a weight. So I'm going to add another one. Do a CHF 115s. Choose that. Now, I want you to notice that this weight is being calculated based off the uh, quantity I put on. So if I change this to a one, watch what happens to the weight. The weight will drop down to the individual weight of the product for, for one. So what it's doing is it's calculating that based off the amount of items that you have for each line item. So I'll go ahead and bump that back up to five. So that puts me at uh, three pounds right there. All right, now to figure out what the, the UPS uh, rates will be, I'm going to go over to my header screen. I'm just going to put in test, and then I'm going to jump over to my stash screen. And I'm going to change my ship via, and I'm going to change it to UPSR for UPS rates. And when I do that, I get this little screen that pops up here. And it's going to estimate my freight based off the poundage of the, the sales order. So it estimated that it was three pounds. These are my rates. So I can select one of these rates right here and exit. So this is for UPS ground, UPS second day air, UPS next day air. And when I exit out and hit save changes, you will see that on my total screen, it added that freight automatically to the order for me. Now, what if we added a product that doesn't have a weight? So I'm going to go add 24 DR some batteries here. So I just added some batteries and notice how there's no weight loaded. So this is what you can do when you come across that. So we'll go over to the status screen again and we'll come over here. Now notice how when I come back now it says products with no weights on this generation of this order so it's telling you it's warning you that there's some products on here that don't have any weights now we know that uh, two out of the three products on this ticket have weights that should be fine we can take that product that does not have a weight go put it on our scale real quick we determine that 24 AA batteries weighs two pounds so I can just come over here and manually change the estimated weight to um, five pounds. And if you wanted to be on the safe side, you put six pounds, whatever you wanted to. And when I press enter, it'll recalculate those figures. So it was at three. It didn't change very much. It was at 819. And I'm going to change it up to six. And now it's going up to 879 for ground. I can click on that again to save those changes. And then I can go back to my total screen and I can see that that has been updated in my freight. And that is how you utilize the new uh, freight estimation tool for UPS and solar. Thank you.